What's up everybody, it's Strings and Sweaters. Hope everybody is having a great holiday. I thought that we would go in and look at some jerseys that I found on Facebook Marketplace. Specifically, the really, really bad fake jerseys. Let's get into this. <laughs> Alright, so like I said before, we're going to be taking a look at some Facebook Marketplace jerseys and specifically Facebook Marketplace jerseys that are super fake. Now, for those of you just getting into this hobby or thinking about getting into this hobby, you're going to realize really quick that, you know, Fanatics.com or NHL.com aren't the only places that you can get, you know, good jerseys. You can buy them used as well. Um, there's some good resources that I'll link in the bio below that you can use. Um, some groups, some websites that you can find great jerseys on that are absolutely authentic and real. But right now we're going to be looking at one of the worst places to go for information and to buy, apparently, which is Facebook. Uh, so let's get into this. We're going to be going over a few jerseys. So let's look up... And see here, I'll put it right here on my screen. We have this Capitals 2018 Stanley Cup uh, Championship jersey. Um, it looks to be number 19, which I believe is Backstrom, if I'm wrong. Sorry, Capitals fans. Um, but look at the sizing of this jersey. That's the first thing that really stands out to me, is that the torso is way too small. The proportions of the waistline are way too thin and then it goes up into the chest and the chest just looks super awkward. The The sleeves look like they're longer than the torso. And then that big, big giveaway for me is that button. Whenever you're talking about early uh, Adidas hockey jerseys, NHL jerseys, you have this button of authenticity they would put on the jersey. Now they don't do that anymore. So for those of you who don't know, that button is a way for Adidas to authenticate their jerseys. You see it here on this fake, and it is way too high. It usually is down on the very bottom, uh, usually on the second stripe up or bottom stripe of the jersey down on the hemline. And it's usually full of air. You can kind of squish down on it. Um, it also has decent stitching around it. I don't know if you can see that, but it has like, you know, pretty neat stitching around the plastic and it doesn't have like a thick stitching that looks badly done. What you'll see with a lot of these fakes is that they took one of these from somewhere. Uh, I don't know how they got their hands on it, but it's usually deflated and it's usually stitched into the jersey with like a thicker strand of string and it's like just it's really bad a really bad stitch job um so that is way too high on this capitals jersey it's just a dead giveaway there so the next thing we can look at is for sure the neckline would be something you want to see because that will be the next big giveaway and let's take a look at this neckline all right so you see here that this neckline is just shiny as heck like whenever you see a neckline that looks like it's made of like a leathery material or like this shiny kind of material um that's a giveaway and when the stitching on the neckline goes through the letters of adidas or any of the sizing uh marks that is definitely going to be a fake and then another thing that stands out to me is that you see that nhl crest right there it has this should be glued on and not stitched on. And there you see that, that thread going through the top. Horribly done too. It's like pretty much going over the plastic and into the, the uh, cloth of the jersey there. Terrible stitch job. Terrible fake, honestly. I feel bad for anyone who's going to fall for this. Um, yeah, this is trash. Let's look at one more picture from this. All right, and I was right. It was Backstrom. Um... And would you look at that? The numbers there look not, they don't even fit the right kit uh, for the Capitals. I'll show you what that kit looks like. Here we have an Ovechkin. And you can see that the number here is going to be a lot bigger. It's going to be made of material that's not going to have like this weird bubbling effect or ridged effect on the edges. It's all just one flat material laid down um 
And also I just thought this plastic covering I have here might be making it hard to see the number. So let me just take it out really quick. But yeah, there's your number. That's what it's going to look like there on an actual authentic. And on this one, you can see that the numbers are almost too small for the back of the jersey. Um, and then they have that kind of outside ridge that is just a giveaway that these numbers have been made to be replicated for that, but with totally different materials. Um, and then the last giveaway, if you look really closely, is the Adidas word mark on the back of the jersey. You'll see that the letters Adidas um, have a line of stitching that connects all the letters together. I don't know why this is something that counterfeit companies can't get right, but it's always like that, where the letters have this thin line of stitching uh, connecting them all together. Um, all right, let's move on. All right, sticking with the Capitals theme, we have the Capitals alternate jersey for the 2020 season. And you see how the logo already has so much suspect going on with it. Um, I would say the color of that blue outline isn't even right. Um, the button of authenticity down there is too high up. It's um, on the normal jersey. I think it would actually be on that, probably on that blue there. Or maybe it's just that the stripe itself is too high up and the proportions of the jersey are weird. But something about that button is just too high for me. Um, and then you look at the one very glaring giveaway is that the strings in the collar should be um, the strings in the collar should be a mesh kind of polyester material fabric and these are just straight up like shoelace strings like hockey lace strings they they look terrible the ratio of the the sort of the neck fabric right here to the shoulders is way off this is way too long um, yeah this is this is a really bad fake here and we're going to get a look at the whole jersey, the front and the back. And whenever you see a jersey that's on like a mannequin body, that usually says to me that this was from China. Um, DH Gate is a company where you can buy kind of knockoff products. And definitely uh, all their images are always on mannequins. So unless it's a reputable seller and he likes to put his stuff on mannequins, usually when you see jerseys on mannequins, that's bad sign and looking at these numbers you see that the numbers are just kind of off um, and also that adidas word mark there looks a little janky so just everything about this jersey you should be able to tell um, another thing i will say that you'll probably see on later jerseys that we go over here but the shoulder bubbles so these kind of indentations here you'll kind of notice that the shoulder bubbles don't have much depth to them or the shoulders don't really like cr have any form to them. Like I think what they do is they do like a double layer here on the shoulders. So they kind of have like this like this structure and form. Usually the ones on the fakes only have like one layer of fabric and the bubbles aren't even like they don't even have any depth to them at all. They're almost like inside of the design or like they're almost like sublimated on they're not sublimated on but they don't have any depth because they didn't create the shoulder material the right way on on the jersey all right next up we have a tom wilson reverse retro capitals jersey and this is a very sought after jersey i could see somebody who's just you know looking for this jersey being desperate and wanting to buy it because there's usually not much available and if it is available it's like four hundred dollars so you know i could see this being one that some somebody gets suckered into because they think ah oh, man i just really want this jersey now let me tell you this and listen even if you really want a jersey and you are okay with buying fakes just know that even if that fake is only sixty dollars you wasted your money because a fake isn't even worth $60. It's really truly worth like $10. So you are still getting scammed because you're paying $60 for something that is truly worth nothing. Okay, so looking at this jersey closer, um, you can see that that, um, that uh, NHL crest is a little bit janky there. You also have um, the capital word mark on the bottom of the jersey. And it's a little bit too small. I'll show you what it looks like on this one here. 
Um, here's this one. You see how the capital word mark has depth to it. Um, it's stitched on as uh, its own piece. So it has this kind of background to it and that's that. And then if you look at it on, if you look at it on this jersey, you can see that there's like individual letters that are stitched on and the font doesn't actually really match the correct font there. And then you also have the, um, you also have, I'll bring this jersey back. You also have the, oh, wrong jersey. <laughs> You also have this prime green kind of like stitch that they do here at the bottom of the jersey. It's way too long on this one, on this jersey on Facebook Marketplace. It's way too long. It's a bad recreation of that tag. All right, next up we got this Jersey Devils jersey jersey uh, word mark. Um, if you can't tell, this is already a train wreck. The strings on this are. Definitely not the right strings that should go with this jersey. The shoulders look awful. And the material on the neckline right here is like completely a different material for the rest of the jersey, which is not what it's supposed to look like. All right, taking a closer look at this jersey, you see that the back of that neckline is that same suspect material where it's like shiny. Uh, it's just so bad. Oh my gosh. The numbers are a wreck. Um, and then you don't even have the Adidas logo on the back. So this this one, if you get faked by this one, you just didn't even take two seconds to research what the actual jersey looks like. So moving on. All right, next we have a Dumlin jersey. And I just have the back of this jersey here. This is really what I want to focus on because when I got my fake jersey, I'll link that video above so you can see I actually compare a real physical fake jersey, Penguins jersey, to a real Penguins jersey. And when I got my fake jersey, the thing that immediately stood out to me was the numbers, the number kit being this really odd material and being super kind of thick and boxy. And you see that perfectly displayed right here. The numbers should be vinyl. They should be flat and have stitching around them. This is, this puffy kind of number is a bad sign. Uh, and you can see it even in the name Doomlin too, that the, the name, uh, the stitching on that, on the words and letters is, it, it's weird. It's just kind of off. All right. And now we are seeing a Capitals reverse retro 2.0 jersey and it is atrocious. Oh my gosh. I am hoping that no one out there is getting tricked by this. Um, the only thing authentic about this thing might be the captain's patch. Looks kind of legit. But here I'll show you what the real jersey is supposed to look like. So, uh, first of all, this capitals uh, word mark at the bottom is a little bit larger and has a little more detail than what we're seeing on this jersey here. Also, the um, the blue that is on this is not even the right shade of blue. The eagle on there looks pretty bad as well. This 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 is a bad fake. Oh my gosh, this is a bad fake. Let me zoom in here. I don't even know. Yeah, this yeah. So this this right here, as I was saying before on the other reverse retro, this is stitched on on its own kind of like piece of fabric. So you'll see here in on the Facebook Marketplace one, it is the letters are kind of like stitched on on their own and as their own letters. So you don't have that fabric combining all the letters into one. Um, this is just, it's atrocious. It's atrocious. All right, and now looking at the back of this jersey, you have this Adidas word mark, or not word mark anymore because they removed Adidas. They actually just have the Adidas symbol. And it's like crooked. It's in a weird spot on the jersey. Um, and then you have the 8. And the 8 is super small there. I know the 8 numbering kind of changes based on the size you get. But for reference, <clears throat> this is where the 8 should be. And the Adidas logo should be. Um, this 8 here is basically overlapping with the stripe on the back. Or the 8 in the Facebook Marketplace one is almost above it. So this is horrible. 
All right, just taking a look at some more uh, up-close details on this jersey. You see the puffiness in the number there, and then you see the Adidas um, kind of logo there. It has some weird stitching um, malfunctions going on in the bottom corner on the base, and then in the top there's another one. That should not be there at all. There should be no stitching malfunctions on that at all. All right, this is going to be the last jersey we look at today. If you like this concept, I'm willing to make it a series where I go back into Facebook Marketplace and look at some more jerseys for you guys. Um, this is pretty just absurd what we've seen today, so I'll try to really take a deep dive and see what other craziness is out there. But let's finish this video up with this Blues jersey. O'Reilly, Ryan O'Reilly. Oh my gosh. Um, this one I could see how someone could get faked on because it kind of is a rarer jersey. This is, I believe, their Winter Classic jersey, and it's it's a mess. The numbers are too boxy. They're too small. Um, that Adidas logo on the back is way too small. It looks super strange. In fact, let me look at this. What? What? Okay. So, we see that the seller has went in on their editing app on their phone or whatever and actually take, took the marker um, uh, part of their editing app and used the marker to actually shade over the Adidas word mark on the back because he knows that you're going to see the string connecting the letters, which is a dead giveaway. So, they actually went in and did a black Sharpie over top so that you can't see the giveaways on this jersey. That's sneaky. And you see another picture here where that nameplate is like poorly stitched on there. It's way too close also to the numbers. Like there's almost no breathing room between the end of that nameplate and the start of the numbers. The numbers look, the stitching, yellow stitching around them looks terrible. And now looking at the front of the jersey, you see that Adidas authentication button is way too high up on this jersey. It's like, that is so high up. Holy crap. It should not be there. Um, you see the logo is all puffy, has weird creasing going on in it, isn't really fitting on the fabric correctly. Um, one thing they did get correct, I guess, I'll give them credit, is they got this like Winter Classic uh, X that they make in most of Winter Classic jerseys that comes down and the logo will be in the middle of it. They did put that in there, so credit to them. Um, let's look at this um, Winter Classic neckline, though. Ooh, that neckline is a dead giveaway. So the Winter Classic jerseys have kind of used the same kind of like prototype, not prototype, the same kind of like neck template for their jerseys, which is, it's like this ribbed kind of neck. I'll show you it here on this Winter Classic jersey I just got from the Seattle Kraken. You can see here that it has this like ribbed neckline on it. Um, yeah, that's supposed to be there. So this jersey has no ribbing at all. It's just, it's just absolutely flat cloth. Um, just this is this the outrageous, outrageous. And I'm willing to bet you. I will literally bet you that that captain's patch right there is the wrong font for how this jersey's supposed to have um, the original. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, and lastly, we're just going to look at the Winter Classic patch that they put on this Blues jersey. And this is the last big giveaway here that all the letters in that patch are connected by this weird, you know, fabric, which, or not fabric, uh, string. This white line string connects the bottom of all the Minnesota letters, which is very strange. I don't know why we're recreating a patch when you could easily just buy the real patch from the internet and then, you know, heat, heat it on, heat press it on. But apparently they're recreating this patch and it, it's, it's goofy looking. It's for, for sure goofy looking. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you like this style of video. Um, and make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Make sure you like the video. Um, as always, this is Strings and Sweaters. Peace out.